Your Worship at 630. Thank you, um, Mr. Knopper. All right, I call to order the um, meeting for the public hearing of objections um, on March the 6th, 2023 at 630 p.m. on the W.C. O'Neill um, Arena Council Chamber Chambers. And I'll apologize if I slip up or do whatever. This is my maiden voyage as mayor, as the mayor is away today. So I ask councillors and Mr. Knopper and Mr. Spear to keep me in line and tell me what I missed. Thank you very much. And I apologize to you people who are sitting in the audience and have to listen with me. So uh, record of attendance, the, we have all councillors present except for Councillor Heenan and the mayor who is away. Is that correct? And Councilor Weir. Weir is walking not in the door. Here. He's walk yeah, he's coming in right now. He usually comes in if you do we want to wait a few seconds or just continue on? Okay. So Councillor Heenan and the mayor are the only two. And Mr. Spear is online. So then we'll start. Um, first of all, I'd like to welcome you to the um for the council and the chambers that we're on the unceded territory of the traditional um, Beskatomakati people. And the next thing that we have to do is the approval of the agenda. So I'm looking for um, a mover. Let's see, Councillor Harlan, seconded by Councillor Hurdle. Hurdle. So the um, agenda is that um for the 230306 public hearing of objections and comments this meeting on Monday March the 6th 2023 at 6 30 p.m be adopted so oh Mr. Weir I hope you're okay Mr. Weir Councillor Weir anyway welcome and I need and we got the first and second is there any Ad admissions or errors or omissions? No? Okay. So uh, I'll call for the question. All those in favor say aye. aye. Contrary mandate? None. So it's carried unanimously. Is there a disclosure of, in of conflict of interest? No. We don't have a presentation. So now we're at the hearing of objections. And this is for bylaw number 23-01, a bylaw relating to a tourism accommodation levy in the town of St. Andrews for second reading, BTH C230205. The, the Council of the Town of St. Andrews is holding a public meeting to hear objections and comments to the proposed bylaw number 23-01, a bylaw relating to a tourism accommodation levy in the town of St. Andrews. So I will open it up with that. If you would like to speak uh, for anyone that's in the audience, please come to the podium so that we can hear you both clearly on the speaker and as well for our online Mr. Spear. Do I so open it up? Is there anyone? And please state your name before you start. Please state your name. Thank you. My name is uh, Dominique Belanger. I live in uh, St. Andrews. I'm the owner of, uh, of the Kennedy House. Thank you very much for, uh, for making this uh, feedback session possible. And as a new member of the St. Andrews community and a proud business owner, I think it is important to uh, embrace and support every initiative and opportunity that local government launches to improve the quality of its citizens, promotion of its culture, the heritage and the natural resources, whether this is publicly funded or in part privately supported. In my opinion, and obviously that's why we're here, uh, the tourism tax is a mechanism that is self-fulfilling as it creates budgets generated by those who visit to improve and to accelerate the frequency and enrich any potential next visit and to enlarge our tourism base uh, far beyond our, uh, our uh, town borders. 
Now, to my understanding, this tax was brought into play at the start or the height of COVID. And it goes without saying that the pandemic has changed our habits, our businesses, the needs, and especially the way people will travel. Now, I'm also a member uh, of the board of the Chamber of Commerce. And as I understand it today, the mechanisms on oversight, checks and balances, and especially the results, the results of this tax remain a little bit of a struggle, remain a little bit unclear today, if not only for me, then especially also to the public and to those who visit us, mainly my guests. New life is blowing into the tell process, as I understand it, and every actor needs to find its role, and especially, and forgive me my bluntness, the spending of our dollars is not completely clear. Now, I'm not implying anything. That's absolutely not the reason why I'm here. But just for the record, um, I understand that money today is sitting in an account waiting to be spent. So that means that my guests, guests from the previous year, not only with me, but probably from other colleagues today present, if not online, uh, will have contributed to that fund. Um, and that money has not been spent, where the objective of that spent <laughs> is to improve and basically make it more attractive for people to visit St. Andrews and increase that frequency, as I just laid out in my introduction. I consider myself also a tax collector <laughs> for some, uh, and I'm sure that many of my colleagues will agree with me that as a collector, we also get questions. You as local government, as government officials get questions. What happens to our tax dollars? I get those questions too from guests who tell me, from guests asking me, um, you know, HST, that's all clear. We know what that is because that's federally or provincially um, uh, imposed. But, but a local tax levy, a resort tax or whatever you want to call it is something that is locally governed. And people would like to know, and not only know, but also like to see um, what that improves. And coming out of COVID, I think, you know, it's difficult to explain that to the audience or to guests, what exactly have we done with that money? What exactly did we improve for you compared to last year, uh, two years ago? So long story short, and I'm, I'm not taking too much of your time, um, but I think to, ask for more to improve to to increase the tax rate from three to three and a half percent as as low as that may seem we need to explain that we need to explain to the audience we need to explain to guests and I think first of all we need to explain a lot more to our to our tourists what that tax is being used for and second we need to find good arguments why we need more money knowing that we haven't spent everything, that we have sitting in a bank account, and it's not my, mom, my, my money, it's the money of, of, you know, that everybody, uh, all of us have raised uh, to, to improve the lives and, and, uh, and the visits of our, of our tourists. But then to ask more money and to say, you know what, as of tomorrow, I'm just going to charge you more. And, and, you know, that's pretty easy. It's a, it's a system. Uh, we have a piece. I can just increase the tax from three to three and a half percent. But in the light of inflation and in the light of everything, people are, co are conscious about that and, and, and will ask, but wait a minute, last year, your rate was three. Why do I pay three and a half this year? So I think we have two things to do is first, we have to explain what we use the money for and let people know what happened to, that tax, to the tax dollars that they spend on their bills. And second, I think coming out of COVID and it's a lousy excuse, but not only because of COVID, I think we should wait uh, and spend our money first uh, before we ask for more. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Belanger. Anyone else? Okay. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. This is the first time I attend a meeting like that. This is also the first time in 22 years that I'm actually part of a community officially and not just unofficially since Sham Cook has become part of St. Andrews now. So, <laughs> so I don't know the protocol of those meetings really, but um, uh, since I've been in tourism in St. Andrews for 22 years or the surroundings, 
um, I, I naturally have an opinion on that. And um, as you know, tourism is is very competitive in today's world. Just about everyone is in tourism around the world. So the, our competitors are not necessarily um, just in Shediac or in the Annapolis Valley. I think we're talking here, uh, everyone around the world who is in tourism today. So, of course, marketing is, is, a, is a big thing, is an expensive thing. How do you make it popular? How do you attract people? How do you keep people? How do you have people coming back? People coming back generally depends on our who is going to deliver the promise we put out there in marketing. But other than that, if you really want to play, uh, you need lots of money today. So I, I would like to address, and I am um, appreciate your point from 3 to 3.5. I would agree with you. I was not going to talk about that. Somebody else has done that. But uh, I'd like to talk about 10.7 in, in, um, in, in the proposed um, bylaw, the new bylaw changes. So when I was reading through that a little bit more, um, I'm, um, I'm, as principal, I'm not opposed to a marketing levy. I think it's very important we need to do that. Uh, around the world, this has been done for decades where we only just started recently. In some, in some towns, in, in some cities, uh, you pay 5%, 6%, 7%, 8%. Even there, I think with three and a half, we're still in a, in a, good, in a good level. But um, as we manage these funds coming in, um, I, my proposal would be that we uh, kind of hold off and put in a bylaw bail bail through until Talb, who right now is the service provider mentioned here, has their budget presentation. And, and I think with that budget presentation, because all the many changes we have now technically with the town, with the RSC who is coming in now newly, which of course 10.7 talks to it, I think we need a, a, a good working session where we can involve professionals around town, like someone who has not been involved in that as well, to talk about how we're going to do that. If I read 10.7, then for me, it's it's not what it costs us today. I know the cost for this year, it's $28,000 for, for the town, which is gonna take out of that. We, we could manage that with that fund, the way it's proposed. But for me, this 10.7 is almost we're gonna to give tourism away here. We're gonna we can we're we're prepared to lose control over our tourism dollars because that's twenty eight thousand. Next year could be hundred thousand dollars. Yeah. Um. So I I really propose that we that we hold on on this ten point seven. Think about it. Have a working session with 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 us here in town council and with the professionals on 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 Talb on on the board right now fairly new board as well and and work that out and think how we want to go forward uh, together with with town with service provider uh, and with the RSC um, and it it just it just sounds to me we're prepared to give the money away which the town the the members of the town the business of the town collect and prepared to lose that money and just give it to somebody else to take care of it I believe that in St Andrews in the, the region of, of Charlotte County, St. Andrews is, is the tourism place, is the center of tourism. So I think we should claim competence there and go for it and see that we're maybe the elected people to take a, to care about tourism in this region and then reach out. The reason why I bring that forward, I can tell you that that's what Fredericton has done. Uh, the, um, the DMO, the, the, the um, Destination Marketing Organization in Fredericton, who is um, is funded by their three and a half percent plus money from the town, plus money from a third source, so they get even more money. Money is not taken away out of that thing. They went out and uh, have a five year deal with their uh, with their uh, regional service commission to take care of of tourism in Fredericton and the surroundings. So they have said, we're, we're, the, we're the champions here. We're gonna take it on. We wanna be the ones who are organizing that because remember, there shouldn't be any uh, layover, right? No duplications. So they said, okay, we're the ones who are gonna to take care of tourism. And then they reached out and went to the different communities in, in, 
in the RSC and said, okay, what do you need? Um, you know, St. Stephen, there is, the, they say, chocolate town, right? Uh, somebody else might say, um, we do, we have something else, right? Fly fishing, whatever. So that might be on our, um, Graham and Anne might say, might say Falk Fest or something like that, right? So basically what they've done is they embrace the region, they keep the control in their town, they keep the money in town, and whatever comes to it from the region, and then they take care of the marketing of the whole region. So, and because of that, I think seeing that example, I think 10.7 um, for me here says, we're prepared to give control of tourism away potentially to someone else. And I think we should keep it here. So we should hold, hold on that. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Arnie. Um, your points are well taken and we have met with the town and uh, I'm assuming that's who you're saying when you're saying we, when you're saying we, are you saying the town? You as no, part I'm of the town? Austin, okay, Austin, St. Anne, so, sorry. Sure. <laughs> I was once um, I was able to um, to convince one of the mayors, previous mayors, that I should have uh, a St. Andrews official town here, you know, the blue shirt. Yes. The, I, I forgot to bring that along to that. You know? <laughs> so I I've always been on Team St. Andrews, your worship. Okay. I've been for a long time. Thank you very much. I just wanted to clarify yeah, that because I'm yeah. talking about. I, I feel like I said, you know, I mean, your town council, we're, uh, I know it's an objection meeting or whatever, or it, I, it's more an input meeting for me. I just I wanted to clarify that for anybody that was listening, because that was a little confusing to me if you were talking about we, meaning council and you, or we yeah. as the town. So, um, but thank you for your input and uh, great, great uh, ideas. So anybody else? Please don't be shy. Your Worship, if there's no others from the floor here, I'm going to just go to Zoom, see if there's anybody from Zoom that would like to speak. Thank you, Mr. Knopper. So anybody on Zoom who's in attendance tonight, uh, please raise your hand if you wish to speak to Council on bylaw number 2301. Another call, please raise your hand if you'd like to speak to council on 2301. Worship, I'm seeing no hands raised. I will also note to council that we did receive in your packages three correspondence as well as uh, two other correspondence did come in today. You saw them via email. Uh, so those will be added to the record as well, council. All right, thank you, Mr. Knopper. Again, anybody else? Oh. Your Worship. Yes. Okay. Sorry. It, it just, I want to touch on a point of Mr. Ernie's. Just, he had talked about not uh, putting through the bylaw until the TALB um, budget had been presented, but we aren't actually scheduled to go to second reading of this tonight anyway. So there still may be opportunity for that. And uh, accordingly, it's, it's always at council's wishes. But I think if TALB does wish that, you know, if they could get, get the budget to us and, and uh, to council over the next two to three weeks. I'm sure we could delay third reading a little bit longer. Thank you, Mr. Spear. And uh, so Mr. Arnie, does that answer your question? We are going to, uh, this is not going to go to second reading tonight. This is just a hearing of objections where we listen and, uh, sure. and get the input from from the people yeah. as, and, as you can see i'm not uh, no no it's all right familiar with all the protocols this is my first <laughs> kick at the so. can too with uh being mayor so um thank you mr spear for that information and so we are not going to it is not going to be going to second reading we are just here to listen and get your input all right and council right. will discuss in a couple more weeks thank you yes thank you very much mr spear okay I can I co-owner of the New Brunswick Bed and Breakfast with my husband Les. Just a just a comment really that um because we are as my colleagues probably are, we're well into bookings for this year. And if we change to a three and a half percent in April, 
just as long as you're considering putting in some mechanism that the people we have already booked do not, obviously we're not gonna go back to them for another half percent. So there will have to be some mechanism to account for that when we go forward throughout the year, sending in our, our allocations. Um, so I, I can speak to that. Mr. Knopf. So any bookings, if this bylaw passes by council, there is a stipulation that as of April 1st, any bookings taken after that would be subject to the 3.5% if the bylaws passed by then. Uh, otherwise, any bookings that have been taken now, you wouldn't be asked to add another 0.5%. They would okay. be in 3% three percent for your bookings as now. Okay, perfect. Thank you. That was my only comment. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Knight. Again, anybody else wish to speak? Well, I thank you for coming out. I have to, we have to wait till seven. Yeah. I thank you for coming out tonight and uh, for giving us uh, input so that we have um, fodder for our discussions when we do do this. And it will be in a while, as Mr. Spear said, uh, we are waiting for the TALP to present with their budget that Mr. Ani said. So all of that will be done and then um, we will have our second reading later on. Correct? All right. Uh, Your Worship. Sorry, yeah. I, I just wanted to clarify that we're not waiting for Tab to present. We're, you know, they still oh, have no. time to Sorry. present. Yeah, yeah. that uh, they hurry up, or not hurry up, but if the thing get to us the next couple of weeks with a the budget, then it'll be before final consideration of the bylaw. All right, thank you. I think they are scheduled to come, though. I, I, I uh, for clarification, you worship they're scheduled for March 20th. Oh, March 20th. All right, thank you very much. Uh, I will need a motion to adjourn from Councillor Gumichel and seconded by Councillor Blanchard. Okay, we're done. Thank your, you very much. Your, no, your worship, you yeah. actually have to go through the vote. I have to go through what? You, they, you, you've got a uh, first and seconder, you actually have to call the motion. Oh, sorry. Can I, oh, I forgot to do the question. All those in favor of adjourning, say aye. Contrary minded. It's carried. And so we are closed. Thank you very much at 7.55. Is that close? 6.52. Sorry. <laughs>